take a trip down memory lane. Wheel of Madden Ultimate Team. In March 2017, Papa Meeks cooked up what we can call a rough draft. The first ever episode of Wheel of Mutt aired. Oh, I've been waiting so long to bring you guys this series. I'm so excited. And ever since then, we fine-tuned this series into what it is today. The most intense, nail-biting, ya boy pizza toppling series that football fans could ever ask for. Fast forward seven years later, we're playing Madden 24. And in Season one of Wheel of Mutt, Papa Meeks got himself his first Super Bowl ring a Madden 24. Season two came and in the wild card playoffs, we lost a narrow feat. Closing off our chances of a back-to-back. -back. And that leads us to where we are today. Season three. And after an absolute edge of your seat, clench your cheeks, tell that bitch to go home or start sucking because I'm watching Wheel of Mutt. We caught a dub in the AFC Championship, which leads us to the Super Bowl! What's good, boys? Today, the scariest thing that a Madden player could see is that on your screen right there. Win the Super Bowl to become a season's champion. All that hard work, seven wins, undefeated in the final two, and it all culminates in the biggest game of your life. That's where we find ourselves today. Season three was the Cincinnati Bengals season. If you're unfamiliar, at the start of every Wheel of Mutt season, I spin a team wheel. It determines my jerseys, my home stadium, my head coach, and most importantly, it determines my playbooks, which is only further complemented by the fact that our prestige wide receiver is Jamar Chase. And there's one unique trait of making every Super Bowl in Wheel of Mutt, and that is adding an additional prestige player to the lineup. Now, when a new season starts, my entire team is reset to all silvers, except for my prestige players. Prestige players stay locked into the lineup, and I always get the best possible version. My current prestige players are Jamar Chase, Rob Gronkowski, Derwin James, and Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa, if you want to get a card anytime soon, that'd be fucking sick, bud. And since I made the Super Bowl, one of these players on this lineup will be locked in and featured on the start of next episode. Gronk has the ability Vanguard, so no matter what, what happens? Gronk is a pretty nasty fullback. Other potential options could be Bruce Smith, Luke Keekley, maybe Jesse Bates. I, I, it wouldn't be too crazy to say Jesse Bates. All right, boys, it's the Super Bowl. We get only two wheel spins, but they are juiced. Let's see what the first player that we can add to this team is going to be. I think we do need outside linebackers, if not a better right guard. Ooh, wow, I can't believe I'm still seeing Gridiron Guardians. Now, I know Jermaine Pratt isn't exactly built to be an outside linebacker, but he is exactly what I need at outside linebacker. My outside linebackers don't really blitz the quarterback that often right now. A lot of my pressure is just coming from Bruce Smith being Bruce Smith. Sometimes me and Joe Green, sometimes Nick Bosa. But Jermaine Pratt is well-rounded all across the board. He's a field general, and his coverages are kind of good. 87 zone's amazing. 75 man obviously isn't the best, but he can definitely, he can definitely cover. Finally get ourselves an outside linebacker. 89 overall, Gridiron Guardians, Jermaine Pratt. I'll keep Quay Walker in because Quay Walker's really nice. I'll take out uh, Taki Taki. Final spin for the Super Bowl. We could even pick up a player who could be a prestige too. Like that is always on the table. Any limited player in the game. Holy shit, there's so many players to choose from. Holy shit, who are we gonna go with? And they could be a prestige. Oh my goodness. Gentlemen, I'm about to do something absolutely insane. Could it really be time for the first ever? Is it time for the first ever kicker prestige? I've never done it in Wheel of Mutt history. Oh, but imagine locking in a kicker with abilities. Dude, this could save me so much heartache, so much pain. There's only three insane kickers in the game, and two of them are limited. There's Harrison Butker, and there's the GOAT Justin Tucker. Butker's actually better. Butker has more kick power. I'm, I'm, I'm balls deep now. There's no pulling out. I'm having the kid and I'm naming it fucking Sally and I'm never speaking to it ever again. My limited choice is a kicker. He has precision kicker as his like default ability. The only ability I really want is Zen kicker. Slower kicking meter over 45 yards. If you miss one under 45 without the meter, you're just dog shit. And then I'll keep precision kicker on because it doesn't matter. We're, we're committed now. I'm a full ride D1 commit to kicker university. KU. Our first upgrade is outside linebacker Jermaine Pratt. And Evan McPherson, thank you for your service. It's Harrison Butker's turn now. Dude, there's literally so many insane cards, but I actually think that was the best 
best call. What could we really have gone with? I guess I could have done Bradley Chubb. Bradley Chubb, limited outside linebacker, would have been the only other thing that I really would have looked at. There's not a lot of good limited corners. We're going to be walking into this Super Bowl with this offensive line. That is, this is definitely the worst offensive line I've ever gone into the Super Bowl with. No question. But at the same time, it's probably some of the best wide receivers I've ever had. It's an excellent backfield. It's okay depth at tight end. It's the best linebackers I've ever had. I'm sorry, but the, the Luke Keekley walker duo has been insane. It's an ins absurdly good D-line. And the corners, this is a weird Super Bowl team, but I'm happy for them. Final thing before we play the Super Bowl is the challenge wheel. This is undoubtedly the best challenge wheel of the year. And we'll talk about it in a sec here. We need 80 fantasy points from the entire team. So at the end of the game, we'll add up everybody's fantasy points. If it's over 80, we win. If it's under 80, we lose. Last game, I would have been under 80 for sure. You got to score probably 28 plus points for this to hit. As you know, the challenge wheel guarantees me any single pack in the store, including training, if I'm in the playoffs. And since at the start of next episode, I will have a fully wiped team. If I can complete that, I will start that team out on a really good foot. All right, boys, we made it to the Super. Super Bowl. We need 80 fantasy points as a team. And most importantly, we need a dub. <laughs> Bengals Ravens Super Bowl. Oh my God. You can't write this any better. Obviously it's impossible in real life, but still who's starting with the ball. You guys heard that theory that like the colors of the Super Bowl logo is who's going to play in it. It just so happens that the colors of the Super Bowl logo are purple and orange. Thank God I'm starting off kicking. Because if I can get a turnover on defense to start this game, all my nerves will literally disappear. Randy Moss. Don't you house this. Go, we're there. We're there. We're there. Keep it simple. Blitz Bruce Smith. Keekly play coverage. He's going to hand this off. We are all over it. Derwin tried to strip that. You see that animation? I like that, Derwin. More of that. Oh my God, why is Thibodeau in? He has the hitch. He goes deep. Chip Bailey. I'm on the... Okay. Get it. Get it. Cromartie. Fourth and three. Oh my God. He's no huddle. Do I want a timeout? I do. I do. Shit. Didn't get off. Ben, don't break. Break this shit up. Let's go. Jesse Bates. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't call the timeout. What a fucking hit, Jesse Bates. Going inside zone to CMC to start this game out. This is not going to be like the AFC Championship. He has inside stuff. Also doesn't have any pass rush here. That's risky! What? What happened? What happened to Gronk? Jamar Chase whip route is so fucking open. I knew it. I just need you to get there, Jamar! Fight! First and 10 inside zone. Wait for your blocker, Matt. That's how you wait for your fucking blocker. Excellent opportunity to take a shot at the end zone here. Just hang out. Just be patient. Jamar! Oh, it was a touchdown! I'm gonna go quick base to CMC. I'm just gonna grab this. Ooh! Big juice! Run, CMC! That's how a white man runs a football! I'm staying. Oh. Why do I say things? Why do I talk? Gotta stay on Keekly, first and ten. No way you stick to the run. Blow it up. Keekly will. Keekly will. Wow, is he gonna go back to the run again? No, it's a little RPO. Need a big tackle here. Nice. Antonio Cromarty has been real good today. Can we? No. No, he's too close. Am I just gonna get tore up by this play? Stretch alert, smoke. There's the run, Keekly's. Oh, I fucking shanked it. I have to go on Anthony Walker here to cover the middle. Risky. Dude, he's got all the like super difficult to get grind players. Like that Justin Fields, that's the competitive fast Justin Fields. He could definitely run the ball. Mean Joe Green. Mean Joe Green's kind of there, but they're getting him. He's passing the ball. Nice ball. That was such an efficient offensive drive. Wow. I really don't know. That was a four-man rush. I don't know how Josh Allen had that kind of time. He's cooking me with this man coverage, though. I got to keep running the football. Got to keep him. I got to keep him honest. They are vacating. Josh Allen has been clutch on the ground. He was clutch on the ground in the AFC Championship. He's clutch on the ground right now. And I think we've got another really good inside zone opportunity. First and 10, I need CD to block. Beauty. Wait for it. Probably didn't, probably didn't need to wait for that block. Could have just juked that. Gronk is so open, it should be illegal. And a huge stiff arm. Gronk. Gronk's got Marcus Peters on him. I love you, Gronk. Can I really make a play for this? Oh my God, Josh Allen might not run it. Oh my God, he does. Josh Allen. He still has three timeouts though, and I can't exactly get another first down. So I don't know how well I could really shenanigans these, this clock here. Damn, I thought I could juke inside of that. Second and eight, he'll call his first timeout. At this point, it's like just get the touchdown if I have it. Why is there, but I can't throw it? 
He is. He is. Huge catch, Jamar. Let's go. Oh, that, that was a scary throw. That was a scary throw, but it's in. Second and seven. He throws a quick one. Does he stay no huddle? He does. Oh, I see it. Ooh, that was the Derrick Henry, too. That's, that's a very interceptable ball. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. the tackle i'm already in field goal range gigantic play i went baseman coverage i shaded outside he couldn't hit the whips so he checks to the slant dude i almost over committed on that ball did you see that like i, I almost missed that i almost did it just go down go huge stretch it's gonna get home a mccaffrey that was out of bounds i could go for the seven here he jumped it left side he jumped it left side he jumped in left side, let's go! There's no way I should have ran the ball twice and scored there. All right, 21-7, absolutely monumental lead in the Super Bowl. McCaffrey's open. Out in the open field, a huge juke. Another! Why is CMC like the late, late season MVP? If it's zone, we go Jamar. If it's man, oh fuck. See, it was zone. His drops are too deep. I'm gonna try outside zone here, McCaffrey. Let it play him, I'm gonna go back to where he's leaving. See, he keeps leaving this spot. 12 rushes, 79 yards, two touchdowns. It's just like last week, man. He's too good. I feel like Jalen Hurts fraud ass right now. Second and three, he's gonna overcommit. I'm gonna walk it up the middle. I really could have fumbled doing that shit. Oh! On the Super Bowl field makes it so much cooler. First and 10. Oh, Jesus. Chill out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not letting that happen again. Keep in bounds. Keep in bounds. Yeah, that's fine. That's such a good ball. This is what I don't get. H how did you turn it over twice? That's a fucking laser beam. Go left side. CMC to the edge. Ooh. Cut it up. I'm gonna go left side. I'm gonna follow my lineman. A whole lot of nothing right there. Second and ten. I'm just gonna take the easy throw. No! I got fucking ankle bit! Oh my god, I thought I did that! Oh my god. Dude, he came flying down. I got ankle bit! Oh! Hey, it takes me all the way to the two-minute warning. I don't need to, I don't need to punt this. Although he's not in a punt return formation, I am gonna punt this. That's actually huge. Also, he just completely roughed the punter. Also, that was a horrible punt. Are you really that dog shit? It's gonna check down middle of the field. We love that. Because your clock is ticking, sir. Let's go Derrick Henry. He can't. Okay, he still will. Oh! <laughs> You're fucking lying! I didn't just get mossed by Derrick Henry. That was an insane series of events. I can hold on to this lead, right? Dude, do you see Micah Parsons just fucking level Tyreek Hill? I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Tyreek Hill just got fucking 100% he got CTE on me. It completely nullified his whole route. Is that ball game? He calls timeout instantly there. It's not actually ball game, but it's good. I'm gonna do that one more time. All right, CD, we haven't used you yet. We'll use you now to end the game. Holy shit, why was that so hard? That was so scary. That might have been CD Lamb's first catch of his career. He's been on this team since the AFC Championship and that was the first catch of his career. Oh my God. I'm telling you guys, if there's two more quarters, I think I lose by 14. We made all of the plays that we needed to make in all the biggest moments. So we're gonna beat a better opponent here. That's Super Bowl MVP right there. Where, was that McCaffrey or was that Keekly? We had too many white guys on this team. Dude, we just, we just won the grittiest Super Bowl. I don't think I've ever had so many white guys on the squad. Super Bowl MVP is CMC and it ain't even close. Yoshi's taking flicks. Will Shields, Gronk, they're trotting it out. He's 68 off the podium. Josh Allen, Gronk, CMC. Let's go! What an amazing game, bro. CMC was cooking. Dude, I tell you what, bro. All the pros, all the pros throw the ball. I swear, people just ain't ready for the run. I might, dude, I might build just a full fucking, full-fledged run game team next season. Well, and that's not true. I got to see what my playbook is next season. 21 to 28, we catch the dub. So Josh Allen only completed eight passes. Eight passes, 13 attempts, one touchdown. Here's where you lose the game, the interception. He, he throws that interception quickly over the middle, ball game. He turned it over at the start too, but I also punted, so I obviously had my own turnover. Are you noticing? 
noticing a common theme between this game and the AFC Championship. 6.7 yards per carry. Three times in the end zone. And what's best? Zero broken tackles. Yeah, he has some nice jukes. He definitely like broke some ankles there. But it's not like he's OP running through people when he shouldn't, dude. It's just he's not ready for the run. He's not adjusting to the run. Oh, running the ball is not good for fantasy points. But I did say I need to score 28. Josh Allen took off too. Nine for 55. Wow, man. I'm going to miss this team. Tory Holt was five for 48. And a touchdown. Gronk was three for 51. Devontae, two for 61. His tutty. Derrick Henry, Moss Champ Bailey. That one hurt. And CD Lamb may have had his first catch ever, but it was the biggest catch of the game. It ended the game. So glad to see CD Lamb finally getting involved. There's only one sack in the whole game. That was Aaron Donald. And the interception by Luke Keith. Okay, so CMC by himself, 35.1, but the rest of my team really didn't have shit. Gronk had 8.1. Jamar had 3.8, plus a touchdown. We're at 53. We need more than 80. CeeDee Lamb had three. Do we count my defense? What's one defensive interception, but then getting 21 points put on you? No, I can't. <clears throat> it's not gonna be there. Dude, I, I got so locked in that I forgot all the, the... Dude, how much I ran the ball. It's how much I ran the ball. Or if at the end of that game, I was trying to score another touchdown, it could have been possible. But I wasn't trying to do that shit. No way. That's okay. We won't take our challenge, but we will take. We will take an amazing Super Bowl dub. All right, boys, I'm really going to miss this team. Gosh, so many players did so many cool things this season. But what I really do need to think about is my prestige. I have obvious front runners. The obvious front runners right now to me are Mean Joe Green and Harrison Butker. But between now and when that next episode drops, like, there could be a 92 overall Quay Walker. There could be a 93 overall Jesse Bates. I don't know. So we're going to sit and watch and wait. But I can't wait for the start of season four. I appreciate you guys so much for watching this. Always that concludes the Bengals season. You guys are amazing. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.